Yeah, it's great to be back down here for Exercise Tapio. This is our second year in a row coming down here. The relationships and the uh, overall size of the uh, package we brought down here has grown significantly over the last year, both professionally and uh, personally. The relationships that it takes to put this together has been extraordinary and uh, very rewarding to see it play out. Really looking forward to see what comes in the future as we grow this relationship for years to come. The two largest democracies in the Americas partnered up once again to train together during the fifth annual Brazilian Joint Exercise Tapio, taking place during August of 2022 in Campo Grande, Brazil. The state partnership program between the U.S. and Brazil continues to grow stronger with more personnel, equipment, and aircraft participating this year than last, increasing the collective ability of both nations to meet complex global challenges, counter threats, and maintain regional security and stability. The New York National Guard is partnered with Brazil, making them the primary exercise force from the United States with the 106 rescuing having the largest presence. 75 of the 101 guardsmen involved, including special operators, air crew, maintainers, and other support airmen, as well as three HH-60 Pavehawk helicopters and an HC-130J Combat King II rescue airplane. The 105th Airlift Wing flew the three helicopters, personnel, and equipment to Campo Grande on two C-17 Globemaster III aircraft. 274th Air Support Operations Squadron Airmen who specialize on calling in airstrikes joined in the training alongside their Brazilian Air Force counterparts. Two 107th Attack Wing pilots who fly the MQ-9 Reaper had discussions with Brazilian remotely piloted aircraft pilots as well. A-10 Thunderbolt pilots from the Maryland Air National Guard joined the team this year to offer their input on close air support. The Oregon Air National Guard contributed a four airman combat controller team from the 142nd Wing, 125th Special Tactics Squadron, who deploy undetected into hostile territory to establish airfields and can also provide air traffic control. This is the second year the New York Air National Guard has participated in Exercise Tapio. The exercise scenario involved irregular warfare against a paramilitary force. U.S. Air Force personnel conducted combat search and rescue and close air support operations alongside Brazilian forces to build partnerships and interoperability and increase partner nation capacity. This year's exercise added aerial refueling of the HH-60s by the HC-130J Combat King II aircraft into the mix. Approximately 1,100 Brazilian military personnel participated in Exercise Tapio. The, the partnership between Brazil and the, the United States and of course between the Brazilian Air Force and the, the United States as a country, uh, having here the, the Air National Guard from the state of New York is really a privilege. They have all the conditions to help us in developing skills in this, this type of conflict, the non-regular conflict, but also we look forward to different engagements and in initiatives in the space, in the unmanned uh, aircraft systems. So for me as the, the commander of the Brazilian Air Force is such a privilege uh, being here today and gather with them and understand that this will be a partnership for many years to come. Cujo 5-1, this is Stalker, stand by.